how to counter. All right. So it's just like this. So um, I have already mastered how to deliver the strike. Uh, uh, learned how to block. Now this time I have learned how to counter attack. So it's just like this. So this is number one. That is the follow up. So uh, again, number one, monitor the hand and deliver a strike. This is your counter attack. And count number two is just the same. Again, count number three. Right and double three, one and two and one and ten, and last strike. Right. So those are uh, by learning the two basic strike, you are learning how to block and how to counter attack. All right. So now uh, uh, we'll be sharing you the different kinds of drills in our list. So at this moment we'll be using the whole bastion. So this is different kinds of uh, double muscle drills in our list. First we have the heaven drill. It is called the heaven drill because all of this fight is uh, aimed in the upper part of the body. So this is the heaven drill. We also have the heaven earth drill. So this is the heaven earth.
is going to strike it. Automatic hands is striking that. Disarm and count to strike and strike and disarm. Right? Alright, so there are different kinds of range in uh, stick fighting or even in sword fighting or blade, uh, blade and weapon fighting. So we have the long, long range fighting. So in long range fighting, we cannot reach each other even though we have this muscle or we have a uh, blade and weapon. So for example, uh, how are you going to fight an opponent in this range? So this is what we call the long range fighting. So you do not strike using this bastone. Okay? So what are you going to do if you are fighting in this kind of range? So all you can do is strike for a wrist. Right? So again, strike for the wrist. Strike for the wrist. Alright? So that is how you fight in long range fighting. Now, we also have the mid range fighting where I will be able to monitor his wrist. So for example, so for example, it's going to strike me. Now it's now be able to monitor the hand. Okay, strike me too. Now this is how I am able to touch the wrist or even the arm. Right? So this is what we call the mid mid range fighting. Okay, again, two, one, two. So in this uh, kind of range, which is what we call the mid range fighting. This is the time that I will be able to execute the disarming technique. Alright? So disarming technique is just like this. So as what I uh, demonstrated a while ago. So again, in the here, or you can trust in the stomach and automatically you're gonna automatically you're gonna pull the other eye the opponent's weapon. So again, uh, this is the mid-range fight fighting where you can uh, monitor that or monitor the so this is number one, two, and uh, there's also what we call the close combat or close quarter. So this is not close quarter. At this moment, this is the time that you'll be using the polio. So this is what we call polio. Alright? And so in me, uh, close range fighting, so it's just like this. So a block. As you can see, the distance between my, my body and his body. So very close. So all you need to do is use the punyo and or either your head or some any kind of destruction. So again, if it's going to strike me and do it like this. Right? So you are used you are using the punyo. So in this position, so it's just like this. It's going to strike, 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 and but and you can uh they call this one take down your opponent. Alright? So those are the three different kinds of uh, long range, uh, mid range, and close combat fighting technique in a wrist. Now, how are, go, how are we going to translate it into a bladed weapon? So, this is just a wooden replica. Once again, this is just a wooden replica of a sundown, sword, or ball, or whatever you call it. So, uh, spada. So, for example, uh, the difference between baston and a bladed weapon is it has blade, a blade. Which is, it just takes two to three strikes and your opponent is dead. So, how are you going to apply it? So, it's just the same principle of striking in baston. So, it's just like this the vertical strike, vertical strike, this is the vertical strike, the horizontal strike, the mid, and the high, the low, horizontal low. Okay, so uh, the horizontal mid, horizontal high, horizontal low. The upper cut and the circle, zero, right? So it's just the same principle with the blade weapon. Now, how are we going to apply it? With the, with the knowledge of how to deliver a proper strike and the knowledge on how to execute the drills, of course, it will be put in your muscle memory. Now, by the time that your opponent will be delivering a strike to you, so this is the cut, cut, and disarm. Okay, so notice that during the execution there is a, a cut in the head, a cut in the neck, and the final blow which will cut off your enemy's head. Now, so uh, that is just an example. We also have the spider in Okay, so we also have the spider in where you are going to use a spider or a sword. 
or sundang and a dagger. Others call this bolo or others call this cuchillo. So it's just like this. So uh, a delivery is right and a cut in the neck. Notice that there is a thrust in the armpit of your opponent and a block and the cut off in the neck. So again, delivery is right. One, two, uh, a stab or a uh, to the other opponent. So, uh, with that comes from the basic rules in our list. Now, how are we going to apply it in an empty hand? So now, let's go with the empty hand. How are we going to translate the baston bricks into an empty hand tool? So, for example, like this. Uh, this is the handle 6 wheel. The handle 6 wheel. One, two, three. Oh. 